Hello everyone, Keith Myers here. Uh, and today, well, this little news bulletin for Bionicle 2016 originates from TTV. I will live there. I will leave their link below because they do a better job of describing the sets than I do, to be perfectly honest. But officially, that is exactly what this news reel is about. Officially, Bionicle 2016 does have some more images that have been leaked out. Now, because these have confidential markings, I cannot put them in this video at the current time. However, there is one photo I will look into here very soon that actually was in Lego Club magazine, and to be perfectly honest, as long as we leave uh, um, where we found it, it's pretty much fair game. <laughs> so, we'll go over that in a few videos, but, for, but anyway, back to the situation at hand, there have been some more leaks from Bioco 2016, and these leaks just so happen to show the box art, the clear, very clear pictures of the Toa, very clear pictures of the creatures, and a nice picture of Umarak the Hunter, and also, the Mask of Creation has been changed, I mean, not Mask of Creation, ah, what the heck am I thinking right now, it's, I don't think it is 10, so, uh, they switched out the Mask of Control for a different version of it. I know, I know, Ah, But, to be perfectly honest, it's probably for good reason, and, well, it's probably for the sake of fitting it on either Umrak or, <laughs> who knows, maybe a mock version of Makuta, because, I mean, people have actually been working at that right now, trying to figure out what he's going to look like. As for the Mask of Ultimate Power, well, uh... The only thing I can say on that is it's probably just going to be a updated uh, skull grinder mask with probably a black col recolor and some spikes that you put in here every weird place. But that's not in this. But that hasn't been confirmed at all. As a matter of fact, there have not been any official sets from the summer wave of 2016 as of yet. But that doesn't mean they're not there. So, um, anyway, I think I guess I could probably describe a little bit. Um, one thing I noticed from the leaks in the catalog to the leaks now is Onua has had some brief adjustments. First up is his chest piece. It is no longer just straight gold like it was in the catalog. Instead, it is black, which really helps. I mean... I was afraid he was going to have too much gold, and it was going to dry, it was just going to take away from him like it hap like this actually happened with Kopaka. Uh It all sort of happened with uh, Tahu, but I can't really say that right now. And that's about it there. Now, also, Onua has had his legs adjusted, so his legs now have trans purple, which Lego do not remove that. That looks awesome. And also, he is using these little piston pieces on his legs as well, and they are in gray. I think possibly gunmetal, but I'm not sure. So, aside from that, that's about it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of extra news. Ah, come on. Officially, I will be posting a few Bionicle reviews to this channel. Um, now, if they actually stay posted, I have no idea. But there are going to be updated reviews of the Protectors, mainly because they have names now. <laughs> Lego, go, it took you long enough. Um, maybe updated reviews of Tahu and... Yeah, I think that's the big one that I'm going to have to update. I f that's, I think, about it for that type of news. And overall... I will leave the link to TTV's version of this video below, and I will also leave the Imager link below. Now, I cannot guarantee that these photos will stay. I really can't. The only reason why is because LEGO has a tendency to move images off if they get too, uh, well, public. So, um, that's about it for this little news bulletin, and I will see you for my next video. Have a wonderful night.